I cannot believe the 180 that happened with, you know, Lord Kuran's son. I'm both happy and sad. More sad. Because I can't just lash out and I just have fun yelling at fictional characters on screen. Especially if they're children, then I can beef with them. It's, it's just funny for me. That's how I, 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 I cope with society. Right now, we're heading into war. We saw in the opening the amazing like battle animations and the war stuff. I hope that's going to happen today. Probably going to be more set up. Let's begin today's reaction. I mean, is he going to be fighting though? This guy's a strategic commander. I wonder how Charlotte would feel. Like casting a firebolt attack, like a meteor. She literally throws down a meteor and it kills like 10,000 soldiers. Would Charlotte then ever go through this like inner psyche's like conflict of, oh my god, I've just killed that many people. How can I live with myself? I don't think we're gonna ever, you know, face those kind of stories, right? We also have Mireil. Like, ours ain't doing shit, bro. If he does, I'll be very surprised. All this motherfucker does is rely on his men. These two have the most confidence in. Ooh. Like, are we just sieging right now? Did we just like pull up? This is the place we're attacking. This broad daylight. We're just like, knock, knock, please open the gate, please. Okay, here we go. I need to see the fight. Why are you surrendering? How the fuck are you raising the white flag already? Give me the fight. Bruh. They already gave up. Kill them regardless. Charlotte, drop a meteor on their ass. Ah, here we go. No, I don't want to wait. I love how everyone's already drinking. They didn't do shit. They show up and they're just partying. Bald. So this is gonna be the important battle. Taking this place. Will you? Hold up. Repeat that scene. Why are you so confident? He does not fight losing battles. Therefore, we're going to win. Sound logic. Is your math that good, though? Did you calculate properly? Oh. No. That's a sword for decoration. Nah, there's no way this is an actual blade that he gripped. No way. This is a fraudulent ass sword. Is Bali actually that strong? The sharp edges don't do anything to him? Bro just covered in fucking armament hockey right now? Okay. Dull ass sword. Baldi is very confident. Baldi's armor is crazy though. Bro, Baldi literally wearing a crop top. Like, I don't know. Look at him. That crop top is crazy. Silver haired girl. Father, you're being a bitch. Baldi is walking all over you. <laughs> Baldi's just that good, I guess. Yeah? Her design is cool. I don't know if she's gonna be able to redeem. I don't even know necessarily if these are bad people. They're just kind of caught up in this war right now. They're setting us up to be pretty important, though. 
uh, show up and threaten to drop a meteor on this place if you don't surrender with Charlotte and then win. What's the game plan, kid? Okay. Assuming the number is correct, yeah, that might work. サムク軍を降伏せざるを。では、私が率いる本部隊はサムク城付近で待機し、3つの砦が駆除を解除させよう。ルベイル、アルス。お前たち金根軍には重要な枠枕砦の占拠を命ずる。オーライ。良いな。
Did we plan this? That's a huge ass gamble. I guess they knew that this is the most important fort and that we all be gathered here. So they're, but like, don't we have other forces? Like we have like 12K technically, right? But they're not all here. But if the 10K gets to us first, we're kind of fucked. Exactly. It's very bold. It's like a high risk gamble because now you're like going all in on this one place. Surely we have a plan to like attack the vulnerable spots while they're going all out. Baldi with the crop top did. I still can't get over his design. <laughs> this fucking Baldi bro has a crop top. It's just such a mismatch for his like, I don't know, style, but he looks good. I would just stop firing the firebolts at the castle and just fire it at the 10,000 people. What the fuck are they gonna do if we drop a meteor on them? I don't think they got a magician that can handle it here, do they? Yeah, we gotta wait for the reinforcements. High risk. High risk every time, baby. Man, do we have to go for the low risk one? Mireille, cook up something. It's us. We have the boys and the girls. Yeah, I think Charlotte herself is worth like 10,000 people. Same with Ritz and Mireille. Like, we have some insane people. Half a day. No, 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 we don't have 2,000. It may seem like we have 2,000, but Ritz is worth like 5,000. Easy. Is that all you need? He's a Grim Reaper, bro. Look at that aura. That too. Yeah, you don't have to do it. We'll do it ourselves, pussies. Let's go! Look at the resolve in his eyes. It's not their fault, though. How could they have possibly known that Lamberg, this little boonie ass little bumpkin town, has a crazy fucking isekai power that's, you know, creating this. Just like. Reach is worth like 5,000 people, if not more, right? This is bullshit to them, but like, it's alright. We're the good side. Alright, these are the bad dudes. That is a strong nose. Baldi! We got our own Baldi's too! Damn, they know him as the Reaper of Lamberg. That's crazy. The, his title is already like well known. Did you hear that? The sub says Reaper of Lamberg. The Reaper is simply Shinigami. Okay, but they added the word Kuroi. Racially motivated. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> Okay, Grim Reaper is just Shinigami, bro. Why'd you have to add the extra color in there? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, we know that they're very racist towards, you know, Marcusins. Alright. Let's go, Ritz. That Selena girl must be really competent. That barrier ain't coming down. Okay, so the stuff we're using is like the resource. 
So Aqua Magia. I thought that people had internal mana sources and they can basically just use magic at free will, but they need these like red liquids to keep using it. Mireille, cook us a plan. We need more firepower then. Charlotte, do something. You know what? I think that we're being very inefficient right now by letting these other magicians also use the Aqua Magia. I don't think they're doing shit. I feel like Charlotte should be the only person firing right now, utilizing all the limited resources, and maybe she can fire off even better, better spells. <laughs> Bro, this just mage battle is just pay to win. Look at how many more liquids they have than us. This is bullshit. Bro, they just have more fucking mana water. I'm gonna lie. Today's episode made me realize that magicians in this world are fucking frauds. No internal source of mana. They just use their little fucking orb to drain more fucking. It's basically battery. They need battery to fucking use the fucking magic. It's not even from themselves. <laughs> Oh, looks like her arrogance and her pride is going to be their downfall right now. Something about that pissed her off. I feel like this is a bad move on their side. Even more barrier, okay? Just better barrier? The Grim Reaper! The barrier is stronger now? What is that? It got wrapped up. And then what? Everyone's useless then. Charlotte, do you have a final ultimate move? Hmm, this is where I expect her to say, fine. I guess it's time to use that, right? This is the moment for something like that, right? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and don't you fucking dare say pre-watch. I'm not gonna spend my fucking free time pre-watching an anime like this. Listen, I am entertained by this anime, but the numbers are not there. And I'm not that invested. I still enjoy it. I'm not gonna spend my free time. This is the most cliche shit that happens every fucking time. That, right? What is that then? <laughs> Uh, explosion. Big explosion attack. Charlotte can do it. I don't know what's more sad. I don't know what's more sad. Of people saying pre-watch, which implies that you are so slow that your brain cannot make the connections to call out such an obvious cliche that happens in shows like this over and over, right? That's pretty sad, right? You're self-reporting your stupid intelligence. The other um, people, when they say pre-watch, is like the notion that you think that this anime is so important and that you think that you in this individual is so important that I would go out of my way to try to look impressive to you monkeys. Like, like, that is also very embarrassing that you think that, like, I care about what you guys think to the point that I would spend my own free time watching a, it's not a mid show, but come on, it's not like, it's not a fucking re-zero, right? You think I would do that. And then the final part is, um, this whole notion of, what's the final part? It's the self-reporting of the intelligence. It's the fact that you think that I actually give a fuck about your opinions and thinking that I would, like, spend my free time to do it. What was the third one? Let me cook, let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. Uh... Oh, the third one is, like, do you think that, like, like the implication, like, like you saying pre-watch immediately implies that, like, I wouldn't, like, like, for such an obvious case, would I put myself in a situation where people will then call me up for pre-watching, right? Like, if it's such an obvious thing, Let's ignore the intelligence part. 
do you think I would put myself in a position where it's so easily to be called out pre-watching? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just an obvious bait that, like, someone that's actually pre-watched mentioning this would then get crucified for doing so. You, you, you know what I'm saying? And this is all just a joke. We're, 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 nobody's mad right now, but... The people, people saying I pre-watched the episode. Yeah, the, the, the cartoon channel, the Beyblade people saying I pre-watched is the funniest shit because, like, that's not even, like, a big brain show. It's literally Goo Goo Gaga, like, children's, like, fucking cartoon Beyblade and they can't follow the simple story. That, that will always make me laugh. She's gonna be Megumin in Konosuba. Cliffhanger! Not yet, not yet! Okay, that way. Hold on. <laughs> the dodge is pretty cool. The dodge here is cool, right? But but this this scene, it, 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 dude, just like things like sliding across the screen is always so funny to me. Like power god, fucking blue lock, bro, fucking Uzumaki. You see all those like different like PNG just sliding across the scene. It's always so funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tuk 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 Explosion Multiple Look at all those jars she has Oh no Her battery But Charlotte's down for the count. No, nope. not yet. And then she'll pass out, maybe. On him. If only our father could have seen this, because he never believed that Charlotte could fight. No, actually, he did immediately, right? He said, huh, a woman. You don't, dis you don't belong in the battlefield. And I was like, Sh show him the fireball. And he was like, oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Wonder how much Charlotte's out for. And strategic. Yes, he does. And the funniest part is you're also part of the monsters. You are insane. You might be even better in both, maybe. The end. And that's today's episode of Appraisal, and I thought today might be more yapping and set up for the battle, and I, I partly kind of felt that when we showed up at this, you know, fort and they immediately surrendered, but nah, we got some hype-ass action, man. And yeah, there's like one scene where it kind of looked funny when Ritz, you know, cut the people's arm off and it was sliding around, but the Charlotte animation, the things that actually mattered, it was phenomenal. Maybe not the top tier animation you're expecting, but this is definitely above average. And it's such a delight to see things actually fucking move around rather than PNGs being dragged around. Charlotte has like this ultimate skill that she can use pretty much once and she'll be done. And I guess that's like a nice way to kind of like balance her because obviously we can't have her just dropping fucking nukes. What's the point of having an army if Charlotte can just drop meters all the way, right? And Selena on the other side, the barrier stuff. Low-key, they're just getting carried by the amount of fucking magic mana, like, water they have. But Charlotte, fantastic. Ritz, fantastic. And the battle's only beginning, right? And Mireille has yet to really do anything just yet. She's kind of coaching and advising Russell, right? We're kind of, like, trying to make him better. I want to see Mireille get, you know, serious. And you know she's going to do something crazy. It's funny that she says, like, he got some real monsters working for him. But she's probably the biggest monster of them all. And today's episode, fantastic. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.